Let's talk about the Postman collection format. I'm in a collection called Sample and I'm going to export this collection as JSON. I'll select Export here. Once I've exported this collection as JSON, I'm going to be viewing the exported JSON in my browser. By taking a glance at this JSON, you can see that it contains all the relevant information about my collection, like the name of the collection, the name of the request, the request methods, the request headers, and the URL. This is referred to as the Postman collection format, and it is the basis of all collections in Postman. The Postman collection format allows you to organize API requests and model API workflows. Let's take a look at a simpler version of this format. I'm on the documentation page of the collection format that can be found on learning.postman.com slash collection format. And here you can see that a collection has three basic objects. The info object, which contains relevant data, metadata about the collection. Here you can see that the info object contains the name of this collection. The item object, which is the basic building block of a collection. The item object contains a request and other things relevant to that request like the responses to the request or the events. You can think of this as pre-request or test script. The item group can be considered as a folder. It can contain other folders or other items or requests. This has various use cases and aids a lot of the features that we see in Postman. The first one is collaboration. Developers and different people working on the same API can now collaborate seamlessly using collections in Postman. One other use case of the collection format is code generation, and this is also used within the Postman platform. For example, if I click on this request and I come to the sidebar and click on this code icon, I can see that I can generate code for that request in any language of my choice. I can select PHP, I can select Node.js, and it will generate a client-side code that I can use within my development workflow for me.